Hello everyone, welcome to this practice together here from Bali. This is Carlotta and in collaboration with Dharma Bumps, I'm going to offer you a total bow vinyasa flow class. So let's just get started. Have your mat if you need. I mean, no, you need your mat. And I have some props if you need. I won't be going through any prop suggestion through this floor. It's not too difficult. So let's just come into child pose to begin. Extend your arms to the front of your mat and allow yourself to lay on your forehead. And just begin here by feeling your breath. Try to extend those arms so long that your arms, your forearms are not even touching the floor. Just take a couple of more deep breaths here to start. Feeling your sitting bones pressing into the heel. Begin to feel the space into your heart. Reaching longer and longer through the arms. your next inhaling rising up onto your hands and knees finding the all four position and we just go right into thread of the middle so starting with your left arm inhale left arm up and then the exhale bringing your left shoulder is down and then the right arms can go up and back and find maybe a half bind and just find this gentle twist here to begin and just a couple of deep breaths your way back up onto your hands and knees other side inhaling sweep the right arm up and on the exhaling right shoulder gets into the floor right hand pull into the floor bringing the left arms up and then finding a the half bind so really rolling the left shoulder is open and just a few deep breaths here your hands and knees into an old four finding your cat cow here inhale drop the belly look up on the exhaling drawing in find your chin to the chest and then again inhaling rising up through the chin to the sternum exhaling drawing everything in inhaling rising lift the gaze lift your chest drop the belly Exhaling as you fold in. Another time, inhale, lift your gaze, tailbone goes up, and exhale as you fold in. And then come into a flat back, walk your hands slightly more forward, and take your hips up and back into your first downward facing dog. And here, I was just moving around a little bit, and one knee at a time. Really feel the first downward facing dog somewhere you can really beginning to start feeling your body. You can move your hips a little bit side to side. Chest is drawing back, opening through the shoulders. And just start feeling your owning to your mat, becoming more present with your breath. back now coming to a standing forward form your feet are hip distance apart let's just grab and hold of your opposite elbows here then we're gonna lengthen the spine long we can sway a little bit side to side make sure you're not holding your shoulders and you're not holding the head up it's nice and heavy there Interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale, switch your arms up and over. And as you exhaling, fold in a bit deeper. Nice and long. Keep stretching the arms up and over half. And then release the hands back into the ground. Inhaling, finding a halfway lift. Arda Uttanasana. Exhaling as you go back down deep. Inhale, halfway lift. 
down and fold on the exhale. Inhale up. And just walk your hands now back into your downward facing dog. And just take another few breaths. Maybe noticing if you start feeling already much more open. Stay connected into your breath. Bring your feet together. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Just take a moment to open the hip and then the knees and stretch. And exhaling gently release the right foot down, other side. Inhale, left leg up. Open the knee and bend and stretch. Exhaling back into dog. And inhale, find your plank. As you exhale, gently lower the knees, chest and chin to the floor. But you can scoop forward right into the Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Just a little bit more dynamic to wake up the spine and the back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. And then last time, inhale, up. And back into your downward facing dog. Exhale. A few breaths here. I'm just meeting in the breath increasing in the body feels already a little bit more easier into the practice take your feet to the outer edge of your mat start with the dog twist bringing the left hand to the right outer ankle or shin and just turning your chest to your right keep pressing the right palms to the floor as you bend into the left elbow and try to get in deeper Left hand down, right hand to the left, and the end to the chin, bend, and the right elbows again. Find the back. Come back to center. You're going to keep the feet where they are, walk your hands back. Just turn your heels in a little bit so you can find your way down into Yogi Squat Malasana. Elbows on the inside. Try to feel the crown of the head. Extend the legs and then your feet hip distance apart. Inhale here, flatten the back. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, try to kiss your knee and step your foot in between your hands. Left knee to the floor. Inhale, the arms up. As you exhale, your hands to the heart center. You can inhale here and as you exhale, twist. Just using your torso. And so really feel that you're using your core to turn more. A couple of more deep breaths. Keep feeling like the right knee is going to the left and your torso is moving to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, extend the right leg, run as lunge, fold the end. Inhale. Bend in the right knee as you shift forward, lift the back knee up and raise the right arm up to the sky, find that twist. Maintaining the back really strong so you can turn your heart a little bit more. Right hands come down, inhale, find your plank. As you exhale, lower into your first chaturanga. Inhaling, come into upward facing dog, gaze up. Exhaling into your downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Stay focused into the sound of your breath that moves in and out of your nose. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. And again, you try to kiss your knee first. And you step your foot in between your hands, right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhaling, take your hands to the heart center. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale in twist, just with your upper body. You may notice one side maybe is tighter than the other one. Just keep feeling the core moving to the left side, like your navel is turning to the left side of your body. Two more breaths. Keep pushing and turning. Inhale to get long, exhale to twist more. Inhale, reach the arms up again to the sky. And 
and the exhaling, extend the left leg, runner's lunge. See if you can bring the four half to the shoulder. Bend the left knee, walk your hands forward, lift the back knee up. Inhale, the left turns over. long forehead to the knees beautiful release bring your feet together bending through the knees rising up to chair pose inhale arms up exhale to stand it. two rounds your namaskara inhale reach the arms up look up on the exhale with the flat back hold in inhale to open exhale step or flow back chaturanga inhale find your up dog from your core, exhale back into down dog. Watch a few breaths. Nice and long to the spine. Feel like your tailbone is tilting up to the sky. Take your gaze ahead, lift into the heels, bend the knees down, or jump forward. Inhale there, flat back. Fall down on the exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, look up. Hands to the heart center. Inhale. Second round, reach the arms up. Exhaling, fall down, Uttanasana. Inhale, to fall back. Exhale, step or fall back, Chaturanga. Inhale into up dog, really press into the top of the feet. Exhaling back into downward facing dog. Just a few breaths here. And we move into our flow. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Step your right foot forward, coming up into warrior two. So as you turn the back heel down, reach the arms up parallel to the floor. Bend a little bit deeper down into the right knee. Try to open the left shoulders back. Inhale, extend the left. Exhale, down triangle. The right hands can go to the shin. If you have the space, you get the head to the floor. Left arm stays up and your gaze can move up. Left hand gets into the floor. I'm going to step your left foot in a little bit. So getting into your hips neutral, fold down into pyramid pose. Pyramid pose as you exhale. And try to really get long in through the spine. Couple of more deep breaths. Then inhale, reach long. You can take the left hand on the inside or the outside of your front foot and take revolve. Right arms up, looking into the chest. Really engaging through the inner hips to not losing the balance. Right hands come down. Step back, downward facing dog as you exhale. Couple of breaths here. Nice and long into the spine. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhaling, step your left foot forward. Turning the back heel down, rising up into warrior two. First pose, nice and deep into your legs. Inhale here, exhale triangle. Left hand can go to the floor, to the shift, or to a block if you have, right arms up. And just feeling your leaning back and opening to your heart more. Right hand come down, stepping your left foot in a little bit for pyramid pose. Inhale there, and just fold down on the exhale. You're feeling a bit more into your hamstring. Inhale to lengthen. Revolve triangle. Right hand can go outside of your front foot or inside. As you open the left arms up to the sky, lengthen the chest long. Left hand can go down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. You may stay in the downward facing dog. Left hands 
down square at the hips. Feel the pose as you exhale. Inhale to open. Revolve through the ankle. Find that. Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhaling your left foot forward. Right heel stems down. Up into warrior two. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, triangle. Nice and open to the heart. Find your hips square. Find your pyramid pose. You're going to step your back foot in as you exhale. Really try to bring in the forehead to your shin. Inhale it. Right hand outside of your front foot, left arm open up to the sky. Left hand back down, step back, downward facing dog. And again, move into your flow. Inhale to plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart to up dog. Exhaling back into downward facing. So we're just moving into this two times slow to warm up. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Let's step your right foot forward this time. Bring your left knee to the floor. Reaching the arms up to the sky. Anjana Yamsana. See if you can really deepen into the hips. Nice and open into your heart. Hands to the floor first. And then go to the right hand inside of your right foot. And with the right hand, really pushing the right knee away. And just feeling the hip of the left side coming towards the floor. You can stay here if you like. Try to grab and hold of your back foot. You come also to a nice quadricep scratch. Another deep breath. And as you let go, extend the right leg. Sit on your left heel. So imagine like your left heel, it goes right in between your sitting bones. Inhale, the arms up. And then you exhale and fold. Bringing the forehead half to the chest. Nice and long there. Inhale to lengthen. As you bend the right knee, you're going to step all the way up into warrior three. Take your hands to the heart center. Beautiful. Just a couple of breaths here. And come into standing figure four. Bring in the left ankle over the right thigh. And then straight you can bend the right knee as you sink down a little bit deeper. Inhale here. Grab the outer edge of your left foot with your right hand and see if you can come into a standing twisted position. Play into your gaze. From here, we're going to go right into Ardha Chandrasana. So the left hand sweeps all the way up and back. The arms stay as they are. The right hand goes down, left hand up. A few breath here. Start to open into your heart. Beautiful. Left hand down. Bend in the right knee to step back into plank. Inhale to plank as you exhale Chaturanga. Inhale in front in your up dog. Exhaling back into down dog. We're just going to do the same on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Right knee to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Anjaneyasana. And then again, try to go deep down. Chest is up and open. As you bring your hands down, sit all the way back. The right heel goes like in between your sitting bones, knees together. Inhale the arms up. On the exhale, see how deep you can fall. You may even bend the left knee if it gets too challenged for you to hold the knees, and you can just stay up here. The final of this position, especially into the fold, is to really bring your belly to the thigh. Good. Inhale, come up, standing on your left foot, warrior. Balance, you may keep the left knee bent in the beginning. Make sure you're turning the right hips in. Come into standing figure four. Inhale, exhale, squat as much as possible. Maybe 
elbows on top of your shin. Left hand to the outer edge of your right foot. So you come into the standing twisted position. Just hold the knee if it's too much for you. Open and twist right into half moon here. So just shift the right leg up and back behind you. Left hand to the floor. Right arms opens up. Beautiful. A couple of more deep breaths here. All right hands down, bend in the left knee, just step back. Plank. Inhale to plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, finding your up dog. Drop the knees. And you shift back into child pose. And just giving yourself a moment. Inhale, up into your hands and knees. Exhaling back into your Adho Mukha Svanasana. Just nice deep pressure here, feeling your palms, your shoulders. So you can stay and hold down dog for a little bit longer, as down dog itself is an inversion. Or if you have the chance to practice on a wall, or if you're able to stay into the middle of the room, you can take any inversion, maybe it's a Shasana, or pinch my urasana and just place the crown of your head as you walk your feet in, lifting up into that position to kind of invert your energy for a moment. Please go to a wall space. If you don't feel comfortable in the middle of the room, but if you have someone at home that would like your help, just go for it. Just a couple of more deep breaths. If you can stay, just really inverting all of the energy. And try to come back down as low as possible. Really engaging through the core as you lower yourself back down. And take a child pose after. Again, lengthen out through the neck. You may roll in your forehead side to side. And then gently coming up, seating on your shins. Knees together, hands on your thighs. Just take a moment here to bring ground into your breath. As you inhale, feel the hair moving up into the front of your head. As you exhale, you feel the breath moving all the way down at the bottom of your spine. Inhale, please reach the arms up. On the exhale, twist into your right. Just keep lengthening the arms and the chest long. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, twist into the left. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, take your hands to the heart center and see if you can lift your knees up. Open into the front of your ankle, chest is long. Just a little moment of balance here. Two more deep breaths. Really feel that you're opening to the front of your ankle. They're always so close as we walk, almost like the position, it's almost like you're always pressing. It feels so nice. Gently release. Coming into your hands and knees, cross the ankle, the shin, and take the legs straight out in front of you. Pull the left knee in. Inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale, down into Jodhis of Shasana. Just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, the arms up. With the arms up, change the legs. Exhale, fold over the left. Inhale again, the arms up, right leg straight, pull the sole of the feet together and fall down into Baddha Konasana. You can practice by pushing the knees down, you can open the sole of your feet, whatever it feels best for you to kind of like increase this position. Beautiful, 
gently coming up. You can take a Shavasana and you can just come back and finish on sitting, depending on where you're at with your day. Like, let's say if it's afternoon, you may want to take a Shavasana. If it's like a morning session and you have to run to work or anywhere on your day, just take a comfortable seat. So you can kind of keep the energies up going. Just sit quietly. Maybe just observe the rhythm of your heart, the rhythm of your breath. center thank you so much everyone for joining this other practice together i will hopefully see you soon and uh, have a wonderful day and again thank you so much for your comments and be very inspiring thank you bye